The first thing we'll begin with is the blue painter's tape and the utility knife. Remember, you do not want to use a rotary cutter for this technique. It's very dangerous. You'll want to hold the blue painter's tape roll in your hand. I'm right-handed, so I'm holding it in my left hand. And the idea here is that you're going to stroke several times across the tape. I've made a mark on this spool of tape for your visual reference. It's not necessary for you to draw these lines. Stroke several times across the tape and each time pressing a little more firmly. The blade will sink into the tape and you're cutting down through several layers of tape. If your hands are not stable, please get some assistance. You might also clamp the roll of tape in a vice grip in the garage. You will move about two to two and a half inches and repeat the cut through the tape. And you're going down through several layers at a time. Remember, you don't have to cut through all the layers in one cut. You're going about an eighth of an inch deep on the tape. With your thumbnail, reach into the cut area and peel off a thick stack of tape. I don't know how many layers this is, perhaps five to seven thicknesses of tape. Position the tape on your cutting mat and use an, a rotary cutting ruler cutting the tape into quarter inch pieces. You will use these narrow pieces of tape on the bottom of your ruler. The next thing we'll do is mark the bottom of our ruler. I'm going to show you two different rulers. You may use either one and then I'll demonstrate how they're used. I'm using a 6 inch by 12 and I'm going to turn the ruler over and mark on the bottom side of the ruler. You want to make a mark that is one and three quarter inches from the edge of your ruler. You are going to trace this shape on the bottom of your ruler. You'll need a second straight edge to help you. Line it up and use a permanent marker to draw the lines on the bottom of the ruler. Now if you should make a mistake, don't worry. You can remove these ink lines using rubbing alcohol. After the shape is traced on the bottom of your ruler, you're going to add blue painter's tape strips. They will act like little bumpers on the bottom of your ruler to help you when you cut. When you turn the ruler over, it will look like this. You'll see the blue tape and the shape that you've traced. Notice that this traced image is reverse of the pattern. The image is reversed because you've traced it on the bottom and you're going to use the ruler right side up. I've been teaching this for many years and I kept trying to think of a way that my students would be even more successful. In the middle of the night, it came to me. Since I always work with 45 degree angles and I work with a 45 degree diamond ruler, it occurred to me that we could make the same cut with that ruler. I'm going to show you the same marking technique as well as the tape on a different ruler. I'm working with a fast to cut diamond ruler set. This is a versatile tool. If you have one of these, you'll want to use it for this technique. Now as a special for TQS viewers, I've given you a special template that will aid you in marking the ruler. I'm going to show you how it's used. You'll just need to click on the link. If you're right-handed, click on the right-handed template link. If you're left-handed, click on the left-handed template link.
Good. We're going to use the diamond ruler and you'll notice one end has smaller diamond shapes. The opposite end has long straight lines. We need this end of the ruler. Place the template, this is a right-handed template, place it on the table and turn your ruler upside down matching the printed lines with the ruler lines. Get the edges in alignment and then you're going to find your marker and trace the pattern on the bottom of the ruler just as we did before. Use a permanent marker and draw your ink lines. Remember that we're working again on the bottom of the ruler and if you should have an accident and the ink isn't where you want it to be, you can remove the ink with a rubbing alcohol swab. On the template, you'll see outlines. These represent the placement for the, the tape on the ruler. And you'll just position them at the edges as you see here. Once you're finished, the ruler will look like this on the bottom. The tape at this side will align with the printed lines on the ruler. The tape here will align with the ink that you drew. Okay, whew. now we've gotten through prepping the tools. That was the hardest part, trust me. We're going into the more fun part, which is cutting the strips, and I'm gonna show you that next.